Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. We are returning subscribers as always, guys. Welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. There's a big difference in being naive in life and willful error when it comes to committing to action that results in the death of somebody or just something negative that happens in life. You see this little girl up here? Her name is Carmiti Hope. She was four years old. She's from Claremont County, Ohio, where this story takes place. Shout out Claremont County. I want you to look at this picture of this little girl you're looking at, sitting up against the dishwasher. She looks bored. She doesn't look happy. Some might say she looks worried. And uh, it was good reason for that. You see these two pe people over here? These are the parents of Carmody Hope. The male's name is Christopher Hope. He's the father. And the woman's name is Tamara Banks, the mother. As of recently, the mother, Tamara Banks, has just been uh, sentenced. And uh, I'm going to let you play. I'm going to play this uh, video for you, the short video that says what they did and why they're never coming home. Take a look. Recounts that Tamara Banks and Christopher Hope were indicted on, the others being involuntary manslaughter and two counts of child endangering. Now, according to the Claremont County Prosecutor's Office, they were the biological parents and sole caretakers of a four year old who was found unresponsive in January of last year. The child was taken to the hospital where prosecutors say she was determined to be brain dead. I went down to the coroner's office to obtain records which show the child died from an anoxic brain injury related to diabetic ketoacidosis, which the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention says is a life-threatening complication of diabetes that develops when your body doesn't have enough insulin. Now, prosecutors accuse Banks and Hobe of neglecting and abusing the child. They were accused of feeding her mostly Mountain Dew through a baby bottle to the point that when she died, again, age four, she had almost no teeth left in her mouth. Now, Banks and Hobe are accused of denying the child proper nutrition and medical care, which prosecutors say ultimately led to the child's death. At last check, both Banks and Hobe are listed on the Claremont County Jail roster. From the alert desk, Candace Hare, Fox 19 Now. I don't even want this shit no more. Listen, I'll tell you something. Both of these people are dog shit. They both need their heads cracked. Him to the fucking white meat and her to the fat meat. It's no damn way you was a mother and you was a father. Being the leader of that household sacrificed that child for no damn reason. They said she had so much sugar in her, she had some type of diabetic reaction. And they took her to uh, the hospital brain dead. Disgraceful. I want to read something up here to you for real quick. It says, uh, man, this, this takes my breath away. It says the tot was showing signs of serious medical issue for days before her mom didn't call 911 until she turned blue and stopped breathing. Scans later showed the girl was brain dead. Now think about this. I drink this all the time. It's almost, I guess, for the ca caffeine content in it. I don't feel right in the morning if I don't drink one of these. And that's not good. One of these by itself has 77 grams of sugar in it, guys. 77 grams of sugar. That's a lot. I know it. And I willfully take the risk. The average intake for a child her size of sugar should be 24 grams. So she was repeatedly being fed three times the daily dose, multiple times a day. She had no teeth in her mouth from giving my four-year-old a bottle. That right there tells me if she was drinking from a bottle, they put no type of progressive training into her to get her, number one, off of a bottle. And it just shows pure neglect. Was your life so fucking busy that you couldn't take the time to tend to something that came from both of you that needed love and support? Which was your responsibility. 
I saw the story. I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't drink Mountain Dew with baby formula. Who would do that? That's gross. Think about that. You didn't see anything wrong with that. Y'all, fa your fat ass and his dumb ass ain't, ain't uh, drink that stuff, but you put it on your kid. Of course. Man, listen, there's nothing. A as a person, just a person, not a parent, as a person, you wouldn't say, you would say, well, damn, that's not a good idea. They got to eat proteins, carbohydrates. Come on, man. Come on. This is sickening. That little girl suffered. Look at her picture. She like, fuck, same shit every day. How many of y'all can eat the same thing every day? For how many years this girl was being fed this? Think about it. Say like you eat oatmeal every day as like a, uh, somebody that's in the fitness. Imagine eating that three or four times a day. Every day. You'd be sitting just like that little girl right there. Heartbroken. They gave this girl so much sugar she wound up dying from it. Now they in jail looking stupid as hell. Make it make sense. You can't. I saw this. Too. I couldn't believe it. This is like one of the worst. Man, this, man, this is neglected at all time. <sighs> Carmita suffered neglect and abuse for most of her short life and was de denied proper nutrition and proper medical care. Prosecutors also charged. There was no evidence that she ever been taken to a dentist and they found. They found and the girl's teeth had all rotted away by the time of her death. Think about that. So she was having toothaches and everything, crying and all kind of stuff, torturous stuff that a lot of adults can't even handle at such a young age before she expired off this planet due to negligent parents. Look how fat this bitch is. You was eating and getting your daily dose of uh, nutrition, but you ain't put it in your kid. So when you was cooking food in the house and it was smelling good, what did you do with the baby? Y'all just ate in front of a fucking face. See, this is the way I think. This is why I say, you know, extreme crimes need extreme punishment. I feel nothing for these people. Nothing. Especially for the fucking man. How you allowed it to happen? One child you had and you couldn't take care of it. Living in the house with you, you didn't see the despair and hopelessness in the situation or the face of your child and for it to make you kick it and say, hey, damn, eventually she's going to die and I'm going to go to jail. You as a mother with your nurturing qualities, you were so fucking worried about feeding your own fucking face that you fucking dismissed your child and treated her like an animal that you didn't really care about. Man, I don't even know what to say about this. I mean, like, if I said this to somebody, they would be like, yo, what kind of trailer park bullshit is this? I'm anxious to know where they lived at. I mean, I know they lived in Ohio, but I mean, wh why Mountain Dew? Seriously. I mean, people are brain dead. Just walking dead. Seriously, not, not, not the zombie type, but just people. They just, you ever see people where you're just like, damn, how did this person make it to be this age? Perfect example right here. These some fucktards. And they need to be tied up and beat until bacon fall off their back, especially her. I'd knock her, I'd put my foot in her ass and kick a whole slab of ribs out. This guy right here need to be put in a wood chipper, a grinder. Her too, no difference. I don't even see how they give people like this legal representation when you know they did some fucked up shit and they know they did too. But you let it get to the point where we are at here and now, and the punishment should be such. That's how I feel about it. I mean, this young lady, Carmody, uh, hope, rest in peace. And uh, another one of 10 million stories of dumbass parents and people that shouldn't be able to breathe without a license or some type of psychological exam. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.